Hi there. Today I'm going to review for you the Batop wireless keyboard. It fits 9 to 10 inch tablets. The specifications, as it shows on the box, standby time 60 days, charge time 2 hours, working current less than 2.5 mega, or I'm sorry, amps, um, sleeping current less than 100, uh, modulation system GFSK, that's the type of keyboard that it's actually using. Um, as you can see, it's got the Amazon store listed right there on the bottom of the box. So what I'm going to do is actually flip the box and we're going to look at the back before we actually go inside. All right. On the back of the box, as you can see, again, the logo, it gives a, an area that shows you how it looks when you have the orientation turned. You also see that there's the black and the pink version. Um, the product features, it's an easy sync magnetically fixed, auto sleep and wake function, that's when it opens and when it closes. Um, lightweight laptop style keyboard, 360 degree swivel, view your tablet horizontal or vertical. It also has this code here that you can scan. So let's see inside. So I've opened the box and I've pulled out the, the tablet cover. Um, what you can see here is that I, I ordered the pink version. So it comes in this bag when you take it out of the bag, this is what you see. It's a very sleek pink design. I'm gonna to try to cut an external light on over here so that you can kind of see some, some different hues and tints. So it's a hot pink. Um, I really like this color pink. As you can see the logo there on the side. This is the front. I'll try to hold the camera and actually show you the back. And this is the back. So it's very sleek on the back, there's no folds, but on the front there is this where it would open. So straight out of the box when you open it, this is what you see. It actually just kind of folds open. The keyboard lays here. On top of it is an instruction manual and a charging cord. Now, the charging cord is actually the same as my phone. It's just a standard Android charger for phones. Um, a micro USB, if you've got that type of cord already plugged in, you won't need to use it. But if not, then that's what you see here. It's the micro USB. Um, this is a shorter cord than what I use for my phone, so I kind of hold these for reserve and use them in case of emergency. But it does come with the charger cord in case you're an Apple person and don't have the micro USB or however. Now this actually works with Apple or Android tablets. Um, just as long as it fits in there, you should be fine. Um, this tells you how to connect and charge. And on the back, it gives you a few more instructions there. And again, the reader code there on the bottom right corner. All right, so it should show Battop BT keyboard when you're syncing. It's very easy, it doesn't have the codes. So, all right. Now, this is actually just a placeholder to kind of keep the keyboard and the top from being smushed. So that can be discarded. And as you can tell from the top of this, it has spots for you to put your tablet in. I'm actually recording on the tablet so to show you that is going to be a little tough <laughs> but um, I'm going to take pictures of it once I get it into it and I'll add those to the end of the video. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope I've explained everything. Um, let me tell you a little bit about the keyboard and I will get the pictures added. As you can see the options are up here. Connect on off right here. The lights for caps lock for Bluetooth charge and power. Those are the lights that will show. It's the standard keyboard here in the U.S. It's got the backspace. It's got the function keys. Um, for the blue, you'd use the function. Um, each of your tablets are going to have different shortcuts, but you could use your shortcut keys. Um, so that's the keyboard. It's really well made into this. I'm not sure if I can actually do that justice, but it's not moving. It's not flapping. It's not floppy. I'll try to do it here from the side. You know, it's, it's very sleek and on there. 
Um, as long as you're not trying to pull it off, it's going to do okay for you. Um, when it folds back up, you can, of course, use it that way, that way, and I'll take pictures of it, but you'll get the gist. You can stand it up, can lay it down, and then this can even turn. So I hope that gives you the gist of what you can do with, with the keyboard. Um, let me actually move the keyboard side so that you can see it done that way. All right, there we go. So as you can tell, you could stand it up this way or turn it. It's very easy to turn. And you can stand your tablet up this way. And again, I'm going to take pictures of it completely done and you'll be able to see it with the tablet inside of it. Hi, everyone. Um, I've already completed part of the video, but I did want to come back and give you kind of what I call a footnote to the video. So when I was first describing this item, I did not realize one feature that I found out when I plugged it in to start the charging. So let me go ahead and just show you that this is where the charging port is. And as you can tell, it shows charge. Um, I'm going to turn it upside down so that you can read it correctly. But if you're noticing, I am actually moving this keyboard. This keyboard is not actually stuck to the device. So you can use this for any Bluetooth device. It doesn't have to be just a tablet that fits in this. Um, say you've got a phone that you want to use it for, but it's magnetic. So kind of wanted to show you the magnetic pull here. It's, it's pretty good actually. It's one of those hidden features that I had no clue when I I saw magnetic, but I thought that maybe it was talking about the mount for the tablet. I had no clue that it meant that the keyboard itself was magnetic. So if you don't have a tablet that fits in this, if you bought it and it didn't fit your tablet, or you were just wondering, or maybe, you know, you have a tablet, but your tablet stopped working, this goes far beyond just using it for the tablet. So I can adjust this keyboard to wherever it fits in here that I want it to. It is very strong magnetic, magnetic hold. I can turn it sideways. I can do however I feel like doing. I can leave it off of this and just use it on its own, say, such as this. You see, I've got the cord plugged in, so. I, I just think that is a really cool feature that people did not, or, or I didn't understand. I didn't read the description very well, obviously, because it does state that it's got the magnetic keyboard, but this is actually what it means. So I wanted to add that back into the video because I think that adds great value to this. Just wonderful value. Um, another thing while I'm adding to the video, I do want to show you that when you use these, it does actually make the lights come on. So there's the power. You press the connect button when you're going to pair and it starts doing the Bluetooth find mode. Um, let me press the caps lock. It's not actually found yet, so the caps lock's not working, but when I bind it, it will, once I pair it, it will. So, either way, I just wanted to add this to the video. I hope that it helps, and I hope that it adds value to you. It certainly did for me. Thanks again for watching the video, and leave any questions or comments below, and I'll try to get them answered for you. Thank you.